Hello everyone and welcome, my name is ChemCam17. Thank you for tuning to one of my videos. We're going to be watching today is an 18 4 gameplay using the MAA7 on the map combine playing some domination with one friend, I think. But yeah, this, I had to take it out of theatre mode because the PlayStation didn't record it for some reason. So thank God for theatre mode because otherwise I would have lost this gameplay. And that is actually why today I bought myself an El Gato. I think it's the new one or the one that came out just before the new one so it's, it's a really good one it's the slim it looks like an like an oval type thing it looks really nice so i purchased that it should come on saturday so just in case um it's so if the elgato doesn't record the gameplay then i know the playstation will or if the playstation doesn't record it then i know the elgato's got it so yeah and just then i got i picked up a four piece with that weevil that i picked up off the floor that's it's quite good i then went on to make a class with that weevil um after this game just to uh just to give it a little go because I didn't really use it that much. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. But what I'm talking about is the stuff that I did purchase today. Alongside the Elgato, I got a um, a mic stand for my Boost Noble because at the moment it's just sitting on the desk. And I wanted it out of the way so that I could either put something else there or, you know, I just wanted to clear the desk space. So I got a mic stand so it's going to be elevated. I don't know if it's, gonna, it's not going to sound any better than it does now. It's just another thing to have. I had to buy a bunch of HDMI cables and also a hdmi splitter as well which wasn't that expensive neither so it was all a good investment i guess it, i'll use it i will definitely use it so yeah but um in this gameplay the kill streaks went to town and i got about three wraps or three four wraps and definitely three or four um things as well so i did have a bunch of kill streaks in the air and on the floor at all times throughout this gameplay so it makes it very entertaining always killing always get getting the score and it, it led to me getting 80 kills and only four deaths uh, i could have missed some of the deaths as well uh, i did get melted with by a weevil even though i was using a weevil i think like he absolutely melted me at some point in this game i was like okay well uh, i was not expecting that to happen but we're still waiting for the intro for the clan to come out it hasn't i haven't heard any other news so far about the intro being released or is even close to being finished made so i'm not sure what's going on there i'll have to ask the leader what's happening but i'm not really too fast it comes out when it comes out right so i'm looking forward for the intro i want to see what it looks like i'm looking forward to get all the stuff that i ordered as well and the kill streaks apparently have been buffed as buffed or nerfed some of them have been a bit tweaked so that they're not getting shot out too quick or uh, they're actually getting the kills because uh, you do go on the kill streak right to get the kill streak so obviously you should be rewarded for going on the kill streaks but i didn't notice any change i mean i noticed a little bit of change with the wraith it was staying in the air a lot longer i'm not sure if these guys didn't have the rockets to take him out but uh yesterday it wasn't really getting shot out and that's when the patch supposedly came out or a few days ago but i did notice that the wraps the ship that you get when you call the wraps in literally i was playing nuketown and it got shot it only managed to deploy one single wrap that was it normally there's like a, there, that's why i got melted but normally there's like a bunch of them right and they all roll around and um they go killing stuff right but literally only one wrap got deployed because the ship had already been shot down i was like what i just went on like a like a, a what an eight to ten kill streak for one single ball of, of a wrap i was like are you serious so uh, they i think they still need to be um still need to be tweaked a bit and like someone said on the clan channel that i watched if they don't want to tweak the kill streaks to make them more powerful then um patch or buff not not buff patch the rockets because it shouldn't the rockets shouldn't be allowed to uh take out your kill streak that quickly so if they don't want to do anything about the kill streak then do something about the rockets and that just reminds me i was watching the gameplay back i'm talking just reminded me of why i have four devs I, every, every time i use this tempest because as you guys know i'm going for the hero costume on all my character every time i bought out the tempest i die straight away without even getting a kill i swear to you i'm so bad at using that specialist sometimes it's good but then most the majority of the time i'm absolutely trash and i can't i can't use that thing correctly i don't know what it is it was the same with the with the spiral but i got better with the spiral after time and i've used this tempest for about mm, three hours now and I, I still i can't just get the hang of it i don't know why but i finished all the kills so you have to get 100 kills to unlock the first part of the armor and then you have to start then you have to get 40 kills using the tempest and 20 kills using using glitch and i've done the 40 kills with uh, the tempest i'm now working on glitch and I believe you can't see it until I unlock what I've done with the glitch. But I believe after I finish getting 20 kills with the glitch, 
I then have to go on and get double kills with the Tempest. I can't even get a single kill with a Tempest. How am I going to go about getting double kills with that thing? So I am not looking forward to that. But I have done Ruin, uh, the Bow and Arrow Girl, I can't remember her name, and Reaper. So I've done three out of how many ever there are. I've still got to do the One Shot Pistol Woman, Battery, uh, the one with the knives. I can't remember all their names. Um, and Nomad and the Firebreak guy. And I think, I think that's all of them. So I still got a way to go, but it gives me something to do while I play. And then after that, I am tempted. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it because it is like time consuming and you have to be committed as fuck. But I'm thinking to go for uh, Dark Matter camo. But I just don't see myself running around with a rocket launcher or knives trying to get them diamonds. So pistols and all the submachine guns, like all the normal guns, yeah. But the secondaries, uh, I don't know if I can be asked to be doing them, but. You never know, if I get really bored and I have a lot of spare time, which I normally do, so it's probably going to happen, um, I will definitely go for Dark Matter camo. It was not going to be like the first, and it's probably not going to be the last, but I'm still going to get it, you know, so it'll be impressive just to say I did, and it make me feel like it's as if I'm completing the game, because I can't play a Call of Duty and not Prestige, that is the number one thing. I can't play any Call of Duty and not Prestige all the way through, but it just feels as if I haven't... It's just a waste of my time. The year's been a waste of my time. Like right? you, you get the game to level up, that, but well, or just to have fun. But to me, it's a leveling up kind of thing. So I have to prestige. And right there, I die with the tempers again. I literally bring it out, and someone came around the corner. Like, what kind of timing is that? And then you have to like charge it to uh before it even shoots its uh burst of electricity. So it is for, it is a hassle to use. And if you're good at it, then I props to you. But it's not a specialist for me. I, I prefer uh, the scythe, but I've already got. It. I've already done all the challenges for him, so I can't use him anymore. I literally did all the challenges without knowing because that was the only guy I played before about three weeks of the game coming out. So, yeah, that is what I'm getting up to at the moment. If you guys are looking for something to, like, do while playing the, the game, if it's getting a bit, not dry, but, you know, a bit repetitive already, then I definitely recommend going for these kind of challenges because it's fresh. It's uh, It gives you something to go for, especially if you you're not really into like prestige and you're just staying at a level then what's the point in playing pubs right i don't see if you're a big pub person you have to prestige and if you're not prestige then there's not really any point in you playing pubs because that just defeats the purpose but anyway so yeah so go for the challenges and uh let me know if you do and where you're at i want to know if um uh if i've seen people who have it and it looks amazing i've only seen about a handful of people have it i know midnight personally has it so um yeah, I've seen people master prestige as well, like what the hell, I thought I played a lot, but I did slow down, like I said, because of, uh, I didn't want to finish the game that quickly, even though I would have just gone for the challenges, but I didn't want to finish the game that quickly, I would have, I could have been so much higher than 5th prestige, I'm almost 6th prestige now, I could have been like 7th or 8th by now, I didn't play hardly over the double XP, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing on the game, just trying to keep it fresh, new and fun, we've got, we've already announced the DLC, like, what it's called we've seen pictures of the map we haven't seen the the trailer yet and as soon as that trailer comes out i will upload it to the channel as well and probably talk about it because last time I, I just straight uploaded it i got a copyright well i didn't get copyright strike i was allowed to use it but i couldn't monetize it which means i couldn't get money from it even though i don't do youtube for the money anyway that's why i kept it up I, I don't care i don't hardly get paid i'm just doing this for fun so i kept it up anyway it doesn't really bother me i'll just upload it just, yeah it doesn't bother me like i said so look out for the trailer if you if, um, uh, if you're excited for the map pack i'm definitely gonna be getting that and for a change it's coming out on playstation first which means i all the playstation guys that do youtube will be able to upload our first game and uh stuff like that before xbox which is good for me because i have a playstation like i said so expect like four to five videos on that day i'm actually gonna do my first um uh impressions on all the map on that day which probably means i'm only gonna be able to play those five games because my internet is not that fast and uploading and playing at the same time is a no-no so i'll probably quickly go through all four multiplayer maps uh leave zombies to the next day because i'm not really big on zombies like i play it but it's not like my go-to special thing so i'll play all four maps edit them get them uploaded and then Oh, it's gonna take this is literally gonna take all day my shitty ass internet. I need to leave this provider. But anyway guys, I managed to mumble on for the entire 10 minutes. If you guys didn't enjoy it, it's been a longer video today, but I wanted to bring you guys this gameplay of me getting 80 to 4 deaths. So if kill streaks go off, 
thank God no one shot them out or kept taking them out that, that many times. But if you guys did enjoy them, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All my links will be down in the description below. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or anything like that, then go ahead. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Black Ops 3 video. Thanks for watching.